Hello and welcome to the first of my 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player reviews. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back at each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white uh, this past season. And we're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their performance this season. In this episode, we're going to open up with Adam Armstrong. <laughs> Mowbray made many loan signings this season, with some eclipsing a vast majority of our current permanent playing staff. One signing that stands out amongst uh, the others was Adam Armstrong. Stretch came to Ewood after cutting short a loan spill with Northwest Championship Club Bolton Wanderers. Armstrong failed to reach the expected goal scoring numbers both he and his parent club expected. But Mowbray knew better, having had the Geordie on loan with his old club Coventry City. He knew the boy could score goals, and that's what he's gone on and done. Not only can the lad score goals, but he is fast as shit off a shuffle. In fact, I love this lad. He has all the makings of a quality player, and I feel he can still offer something to us next season if Mowbray goes in for another loan or permanent deal. Newcastle United might not fancy the lad, but he's welcome with open arms to Ewood any day. I'm hoping Armstrong feels that he has something to prove in the championship and will decide to return in one form or another. Armstrong's stay as Ewood may not have been as long as we had hoped, but in the half season he was with us, he did not disappoint. And for me, he deserves a solid A-, minus, with his only fault being some missed opportunities to add to his tally. But to be fair, I'm only splitting hairs. The kid done good. So here we go with a quick overview of Adam Armstrong's performances this season. Now, this does involve matches that he did participate with. Uh, Bolton this season. He played in 55 matches in all competitions for all teams. Uh, 13 goals again, both, both clubs. Uh, it might include this World Cup under 20 stuff, I don't know. But anyway, one assist, 64% of all possible uh, first team football he was involved in. He got 12. Uh, he was actually substituted out 19 times and brought on 12 times as a super sub. As for his League One performances for Blackburn Rovers, this is a bit, this is the stuff that we're interested in really. 21 games for Rovers this season, this season resulting in 14 wins, five draws and two losses. He scored nine goals in those 21 games, uh, which equals 0.43 goals per game. He was involved in uh, 1622 minutes for Blackburn Rovers. His last five matches for Rovers looked like this, three wins, a draw and a defeat. Actually suffered one defeat in the past 16 games. Uh, which this statistic is stupid. Uh, seven games without scoring a goal. Um, however, he was scored, or he actually played in 67% of his matches that he played for Blackburn Rovers, resulted in a win. Uh, he actually scored in 29% of all games that he played. He was involved in a four game winning run. Uh, he was also involved in a two games uh, without a win. Um, however, he only lost one game uh, back to back, if you know what I mean, just the one game. Uh, he was also involved in 14 games without defeat, three games that he scored back to back to back, uh, but he also went seven games without scoring a goal. Um, once again, there's a quick overview of his performances. I think he participated in every game uh, for Rovers since his arrival back in January. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.